Hello and welcome to another episode of Blender. Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how to set up the generators in the asset browser as I discussed in the previous video. All right, so before I go ahead, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and watch till the end and don't miss any steps so in order to get this thing work first we we need to go to the website okay this is the address and you can come here and click on the download button so you can download in order to access all of these different generators all right so once you download it you can place anywhere on your computer okay so this is where i have put it and blender generator generators and these are all the files inside all right so now coming back into the blender application okay so before i op bring up the asset browser we need to add this location wherever you have placed the the folders okay so coming back to blender so we need to add that location in the preferences so go edit preferences and then come to the file path all right if we have something else selected we can click on file path all right and then asset libraries this is the this is the place where you have to add it i've already added mine but in any case the way you add it you click on this plus sign and then it will ask the location okay and then you can browse to the location wherever it is let's say i will select this location add to asset library okay and then you can give a name a name that reminds you what kind of generator or assets are located all right and after this when you open up your asset library click on this and select asset browser or you can use shift f1 okay so it's showing the current file it's nothing in the current file and then this is the one we just created so let me click this and then even though if i show you the folder structure even though i selected this folder this folder blender but it is smart enough to identify and go deep in the folder structure to find our generators all right so now step one we have completed sorry two steps first we downloaded it first we download it from the website and placed in a location that we know okay and then with that knowledge of location we have added into our preferences okay under the file path with the plus icon now <clears throat> how to set this up as i explained in the previous video that when you click and drag uh, we cannot place it in the or we cannot add it to the scene because of the icon over here that is representing that it is a geometry node editor icon so we need to get this icon how we can do it so in order to get this thing work what we need to do is right click and click on open blend file okay so it will open the exact file so once it's open for example what we will do is this is the node editor window so we need to change this to asset browser okay so it is showing current file what i need to do is right click on this so this is what we have access to in our asset library so right click and say clear asset so we don't have anything all right now we're gonna create an asset and this is how we do it 
so select this okay so this is selected and it is highlighted in our collection area so right click and say mark as an asset once you do it it appears over here okay with the updated icon that's all good for some reason if you don't see the uh, the icon okay so what you do is you select it and you click on this icon all right and then from here you can open the folder and you can select a custom preview which comes with the download if you open this folder you can see the icon folder so this is where all of these are okay oh. but for us this time it has created automatically so that is good so we can click this to close and now once this is done you can see this is the icon we was looking we were looking for so all we have to do is save this file just file click file and save and then we can close it okay and now we come back to our asset browser as you can see this is already changed and when we click and drag you can see it is allowing us to pick a location and drop it in drop it to bring it into the scene and we have successfully added this to our scene so this was the whole process if you did not understand no problem you can go back and watch it again the steps and hopefully you can get it to work for yourself so thank you very much for watching hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next episode bye bye